All right, uh, let's look at the homework 11.2, problem number five. All right, so uh, let's solve this uh, separable equation. All right, all right, so I'm going to put all the x's on the, all the uh, y's on the left and all the x's on the right. All right, so um, I'm going to um, uh, divide through by quantity a plus x and also divide through by y as well. All right, so we're going to get, uh, let's see, y prime, all right, and divide by y, so it's going to be just going to be 1 over y. Actually, I'm going to write y prime as dy over dx, all right, so dy over dx, all right, is equal to, uh, let's see, so 2 is already there, so 2 over uh, 8 plus x. All right. So then uh, we're going to take the uh, integral. So I'm going to uh, integral with respect to x. So integrate with respect to x and integrate with respect to x. All right. So we can cancel uh, dx on top and dx on the bottom. All right, so uh, we get, uh, let's see, antiderivative of 1 over y is a natural log of absolute value of y. All right, so this is equal to antiderivative of that. So uh, 2 is just a constant to pull it out. So you have a natural log of absolute value of uh, 8 plus x, all right, uh, plus some constant c. Right, and if you want, uh, it's probably easier this way. So I'm going to actually move to up here using um, uh, log property. All right, then I'm going to raise uh, e to both sides. All right, if you raise e to both sides, you're going to get uh, you know natural log cancel out. So you have uh, absolute value of y is equal to. All right, so this one is a little uh, tricky, so I'm going to write the e to the natural log of, uh, we don't really need absolute value because uh, there's a square there, so I'm going to just put squared, uh, plus some constant c. All right, actually, can I call it c1 here, c1 there? All right, and I'm going to split it as uh, e to the c1 times uh, e to the natural log cancel out. So you're going to get actually a plus x squared All right then we can take away uh, remove the uh, absolute value sign so y is equal to uh, plus or minus uh, e to the c c1 and uh, a quantity a plus x squared All right but uh, there's no point of uh, using a complicated expression for a constant so I'm going to call this guy just c All right so we get um, uh, c times quantity uh, a plus x squared. All right. So let's type it in. All right. So we got the y is equal to uh, c times uh, eight uh, eight plus x squared. All right. So let's check the answer. All right. I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.